Let's do the cargo pocket. All right, so we're gonna start off by folding down at the notches and stitching right at the edge of our fold. That's how we start off our pocket treatment. So there were two notches there, and now we have a nice clean finish on the inside of our pocket upper edge. I'm using contrast thread so that you can see what I'm doing. Then we're gonna overlock the right side, left side, and bottom edge of our cargo pocket. Now we're gonna fold the bottom cutout edges together, and you can see I've marked it. That's a half inch seam allowance, it's notched, and we're gonna sew that. I'm just darkening these notches to make sure you can see it. Make sure you backstitch at the beginning and the end. Simply bring those two together, those notches match up and go on ahead and sew. We're going to repeat for the other side. Once again, just bring those two notches together at the bottom edges. It's a half inch seam allowance where the notch is located. I drew it in just to make sure you can see it on video. And once you are done, you'll have your bottom portion of the cargo pocket already in place. Just a heads up, you are about to see some of the remnants and the leftovers of pattern paper that I'm drafting for my next collection. Ignore that. Now on the right side, go on ahead and fold in two inches and press. It will line up exactly with your crease that you already created for the bottom of the pocket. It's two inches in. Press that in, do the same on the left side, two inches in. And then we're gonna fold the bottom up two inches as well, so you'll have a nice cargo pocket. Next, we're gonna edge stitch about a 16th of an inch away from our fold. So just make sure that you really have a nice press there and back stitch, of course, at the beginning and the end. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna start sewing and as you go from the top of your pocket toward the bottom, you're gonna make a pivot. So as we get close down here towards the bottom, keep your needle down, presser foot is gonna go up and then you bring the pocket around. Now we sew the bottom edge. And then you're going to continue that around after we get to our bottom edge on the left side, you're gonna keep the needle down, press your foot up, flip your pocket around, make that pivot, and then you'll go up the left side. All of this is edge stitched at one sixteenth of an inch away from that edge. Now remember, I'm not walking to the iron just to save time, but please iron in those creases very well. We need them. So now that we have created the cargo portion, which makes the pocket stand out, we are going to get ready to press our edges that are overlocked on the right side, left side, and bottom. Press that in at a quarter of an inch seam allowance, then line it up on your pants and edge stitch it down. Now press the overlocked edges in a quarter of an inch all the way around. Then we get ready to sew our pocket to our pants. Make sure that the pocket is covering your four drill holes, nice and even, nice and centered, and then you're just gonna edge stitch. And remember, we're gonna do the same thing that we did before. So you start down the right side. Once you get close to the bottom, you're gonna put the needle down, presser foot is gonna go up. You're going to pivot, move everything out of the way, and sew across the bottom. Then once you get the bottom sewn and you're gonna get to the other point at your left side, you're gonna make sure that you keep the needle down again, presser foot is up, and you pivot 
making sure to move everything else out of your way. And then you go up the left side. Again, all of this is edge stitch. Of course, you want to press once you are done with all of your sewing and once everything is nice and pressed flat because the whole point of the cargo pocket is that it stands out away from the pants. Um, then we're going to go on ahead after you press everything and do our safety stitch. It's going to look like a number seven. So just from the top edge, we are going to stitch a quarter of an inch across the top and then diagonally down and you can make a design if you want um, but this is just a standard safety stitch like a number seven Alright, that's it for this video tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in class.